Now, I've got one thing to say about Miranda July's The First Bad Man, and that is, don't call it quirky. You're gonna call it quirky, but that's okay. This is a, a little bit I've done before. I call it Gems in the Stacks. It's when I select a book um, that's not quite popping fresh 2019, 2020, or 2021. Uh, this, this book is from 2015, and man, I totally missed it. I guess I wasn't paying attention. I'm aware of Miranda July. I actually recently saw a Kajillionaire uh, a movie. Uh, I think it's currently on Amazon. Uh, the first bad man, the middle age, a middle-aged woman who experiences like this massive amount of cognitive dissonance over just how lonely she is. Uh, she, she has this very like ordered eccentricity, the way she lives her life. Um, she's very high strung. Uh, she visits her therapist. There's a lot of verbal sparring with her therapist. And then later there's a lot of actual sparring with her roommate, uh, which I'll get into. Uh, but most of all, you know, it's very funny. It is a comedy, uh, not just a comedy, but it has strong comedic elements. And uh, her world gets turned upside down when she unexpectedly gets a new roommate, a 20-year-old uh, blonde uh, girl who uh, physically assaults her uh, all the time, and they fight. And uh, this, sounds, this sounds ridiculous. I mean, it is ridiculous. Um, but that's kind of what brings her... Um, back to a better understanding of her life with no no spoilers here that's just that's just general that's just general book jacket stuff laser focused observations on mundane everyday life I, I don't I if you read reviews online you may not be wholly convinced uh, as a lot of readers seem really split on how they feel about this book not me though so I want to make the case for you and, uh, you know, maybe I can only describe a little bit of the plot. I can give you a little bit of the atmosphere and, and the overall affect and so on and so forth. And, ooh, I, I tell you, it's a comedy. But what does that mean? Uh, but really what this book, why I was moved to give a review of it was there's this sense of, like, playfulness that I think is lacking in so many other um, novels we read. And, and even when it's serious and, and it's trying to get down to, you know, it's not being jokey, uh, it, there's th there's this sense of play that uh, you know too many other books are this kind of like meticulous MFA workshop construction over here other times it's like this uh, heavily edited edited a paint by numbers kind of novel that's just one two three execution oh what a great novel well we know how a great novel is written people teach classes on it and, and uh, maybe even more over here there's like that kind of like auteur's artistic vision or, or something here it the, there's like spontaneity, uh, playfulness, just this like creativity that I think just Miranda July as, as someone who styled themselves as more of an artist, she just, I think she just comes out of her. And you get the sense she had a fun time writing it and she wants to relay some of that fun and joy and pain and loneliness and so on and so forth to you, the reader. Uh, so it's like this, uh, there's like this sense of generosity and so on and so forth that I think you get at the end. So I've said too much, uh, maybe I haven't said anything at all, but give it a shot. The First Bad Man by Miranda July. Just don't call it quirky.